Hi, my name is Kara, and I'm going to go on a diet. So I've probably decided to go on a diet about 300 times in my life um, at this point. And one of the things when you're researching a new diet to go on and you're in that exciting phase where you've discovered the thing that's finally going to work, um, one of the things that almost every diet tells you to do is find a friend, find a buddy who's going to help you through the diet. Now, some diets do that, I think, because they just want to sell more energy drinks or, or whatever, but I do think it's pretty good advice. Um, I think if you're going to go on a diet, it, it does help to have somebody um, who's thinking about it along with you, just somebody who you can talk to. And I have no one. <laughs> and that's not like a joke either where people say, um, you know, uh -huh, I have no friends. Um, I actually have no friends. So instead of just doing what I've always done and, and skipping over it and saying, well, I mean, you know, it'd be nice to have someone, but I, <laughs> there's nobody, you know, there's nobody. Um, I figured why not rope you into it. So if you found this, I figure if somebody else is in the same, like, okay, there's no, I figure, I figure there's no way I'm the only person with this problem. I bet there are other people out there in the world who don't have anybody willing to be their diet buddy. So maybe you and me can go on a diet together, right? Okay, so full disclosure, I was inspired to do this by Unis Anis. Um, if you don't know what Unis Anis is, I'd tell you to go watch it, but you can't. Uh, it was a video a video it was a channel by Markiplier and Crank Gameplays and the whole point of it was at the end of one year the whole channel would self-destruct all the videos would be deleted and there'd be nothing left nothing left but memories so I figured I was gonna do my diet a diet channel I'm gonna do these videos like that um, I'm going to do one video every day for 365 days and at the end instead of deleting it I'm just gonna leave them I'm just gonna let them lie and if somebody stumbles across them they can follow along one day at a time just like every diet goes one video every day for one year documenting my journey through whatever the hell it is that I'm doing <laughs> okay so with that being said today is day one I want to talk about goals. So before you can set a goal, you have to establish where you're coming from. So I'm just going to lay it all out there for you, even though it makes me very uncomfortable to talk about, but we need to know where we're starting from. So I am a 34 year old woman almost I'm 33 but it's close enough that we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and round up so I'm a 34 ish year old woman I am five feet seven inches tall which is 170 centimeters for my metric friends as of this morning I weigh 226.2 pounds which again is 102.6 kilograms which puts me at a BMI of 35.4, which is obese class 2, I believe. Um, so it's not good. Um, and also I have a waist to hip ratio of 0.83. In other words, this is what we're working with. This is what I look like straight out of the shower with zero effort, zero makeup, nothing fancy. Th this, this is me. These are my before pictures, I guess you could say. And that is my lavender plant. 
and those are tomatoes. We're, uh, we're in my basement right now. Okay, so in the past when I've gone on diets, I've sort of just thrown a number out there and said, okay, yeah, that number, that's my goal. Um, 125 pounds, 120 pounds. Why did I pick those numbers? Um, your guess is as good as mine. I really, I think I just picked them off the BMI chart, to be honest with you. But the, like, setting a number goal has never really worked for me. Because for one, I have never been a normal weight. I'm, I've always been, um, I've always been obese. I've always been obese, even when I was a child. So setting a number, I don't think it's really going to work for me in the long run. Because I do plan on weighing in pretty regularly during this year. And in the past, when my goal was a number and I was weighing in regularly, I did some not so good things. For example, I would um, not drink anything between noon and uh, midnight because I was planning on weighing in early in the morning. So if you don't drink anything, you weigh less. <laughs> Don't ever do that. Don't ever do that. Do not dehydrate yourself. Don't ever do that. So yeah, I don't think a number is going to be a good choice for me. So if not a number, I thought instead maybe it would be good to just do BMI. Um, you know, it's a little bit less unstable day to day like your BMI if it's trending down you're probably getting leaner that's what I thought at first but there is a problem with BMI um, in that I don't really understand it all that well and the more I research it the more I realize that there are a lot of doctors who seem to be at odds with it like some doctors say it's pretty good for most people other doctors say it doesn't really work for bodybuilders. And there's some who say, you know, it's it's completely wrong. So I feel like if I personally understood BMI more, I would use it. But otherwise, it just, it just seems like another number that I'm afraid I'm going to do something weird, like dehydrating myself to manipulate. So no, no BMI. And by that logic as well, I'm not going to use waist to hip ratio because waist to hip ratio, I don't think I'm doing it right. I know I'm doing the math right, but I don't think I'm doing the measurements right. Because my fat, my fat will like squish in by about, by about an inch. Like, do you see what I mean? So like... I never know if I'm measuring it right. Do I pull until it stops squishing? Do I just sort of let it hang there loose? I don't know. So again, I don't feel like I'm doing it right. I don't feel like I understand it. So I'm not going to use that one. So then how am I going to measure any kind of progress? First of all, I don't think that becoming skinny is really my goal here. My goal is much more health oriented. I hate, I hate the word health, you guys. I hate the word health because I feel like it's used like code for skinny and I don't necessarily want to be skinny. Like I wouldn't be upset if I became skinny, but I want my goals to be health oriented, actually health oriented. So here's the plan. You ready? Goal number one, I want to be able to do a single chin up. I have never been able to do a chin up in my entire life. And I figure it's a good reasonable goal because if you're able to do a chin up, if there's less of you, then it's easier and also you have to be pretty strong to be able to do it so there's goal number one 
lose enough weight, and get strong enough to be able to do a single chin-up. Goal number two. Um, also health-related, but this one's a little more personal. Um, I want to be able to run a 5K without stopping. Now, you might not know it to look at me, but I actually really enjoy running. Um, it makes me feel uh, excited and, and, and free, so I really like running. But um, my little meager collection of 5K t-shirts, um, I earned all of them by run walking, <laughs> and I want to be able to do the whole thing like the athletic people do. So that's goal number two. I don't care how fast I go, I don't care how slow I go, I want to be able to run a 5k without stopping, without walking, to run a 5k. And then that brings me to goal number three, which is probably the most esoteric goal, is that the right word? It's the most nebulous, um, we'll say. I want to be able to produce 50% of the food I'm eating. So I like to garden and I have a little spot of land that I've made about a 20 by 25 foot garden plot in. So I think, like let's say if a meal has two ingredients, if one of those ingredients comes out of my garden, I mean that'd be pretty good, wouldn't it? You know, everybody's talking about being sustainable and eating healthy whole foods. Well, what is healthier and more sustainable than your own garden fresh stuff? So yeah, um, that's probably the only like diet, diet, diet goal I have. So I won't be deleting these videos like Una's Honest did, but after 365 days, I am going to quit posting them. So, one year. And if this is your first day, you know, I mean, we'll probably be okay, right? 